Inspire OS version 2.0 works on both the original TI Inspire as well as the new touch keypad. The first thing you'll notice is a new home screen that features a scratch pad for quick calculations or graphs. The biggest weakness of the Inspire was addressed when TI added the ability to solve linear equations and polynomial functions. Longtime users of the TI-84 will recognize this functionality as similar to the PolySimul2 app. Prior to this release, Inspire users could only use a numerical solver, which is a clumsy interface when compared to the other functionality offered by this calculator. Another big upgrade is the addition of calculus templates. Students now have the ability to take definite integrals and derivatives just as they appear in their calculus textbooks. If this is the first time you've upgraded your Inspire's operating system, probably the easiest place to get started is at the TI website, education.ti.com. Once there, you'll go to Downloads and select Apps, Software, and Downloads. Choose the Inspire and continue by downloading the latest version of the OS. Now you have the operating system, but unless you've already installed TI Inspire Computer Link on your computer, you will need to download that software as well. Just back up a couple of levels on your browser in order to download this software. Once you've installed TI Inspire Computer Linked, connect your calculator to the computer using any standard to mini USB cable. If you lost the one that came with your calculator, you can purchase a replacement at just about any store that sells electronics. Next, go into the Start menu, navigate to TI Tools, and open TI Inspire Computer Link. If you connected your calculator correctly, the computer should detect it. Once you have selected your calculator, just drag and drop the operating system file you downloaded earlier into the lower pane of the window. You will be asked if you want to continue since the next step will delete all previously saved data on the calculator. Select Yes. You'll receive a similar prompt on the Inspire itself and you'll need to select OK. The calculator has completed the installation process, it will reboot, and all settings will be returned to their factory presets. A couple of additional notes about OS 2.0. If you have the original Inspire keypad and you'd like to spend the $10 to get a touch keypad, it won't work until you have this upgraded completed for your operating system. Also, if you use the TI-84 keypad that came with your Inspire, this upgrade is the only way to get the newest features of the TI-84 onto your TI-Inspire 84 keypad. 